Scoliosis literally means curve in the back. It can be diagnosed by the pediatrician, can be identified on school screening, or the parents may identify it themselves, and that often will bring them to Children's Hospital where they'll be evaluated by a scoliosis doctor who specializes in it. When patients come to Children's, they'll be examined by either a physician assistant or nurse practitioner. They may see a resident, and ultimately so they'll see a doctor who specializes in scoliosis. Often they'll either have an x-ray or they'll need to go for an x-ray, and then we'll look at the picture together in the room and talk about the diagnosis, what it means, and what it may mean for the rest of their growth. There's lots of different treatment options for scoliosis, um, and it's largely dependent upon the Cobb angle, which is the angle of the curve that's seen on the x-ray. The size of the curve as well as the growth remaining or the age of the child are the two most important determinants of how a child may be treated. At Boston Children's Hospital, we offer all of the possible treatments for scoliosis. These include anything from casting an infant with scoliosis, bracing teenagers or younger kids with scoliosis, to either growing rods or vector devices in growing kids who need an operation, as well as spinal fusion ultimately for children who need that operation. Most children who come to see us for scoliosis do not require surgery. The vast majority of kids end up getting observed, require no treatment, or may need bracing. The kids who ultimately need surgery are actually a fairly small percentage of the kids who come to see us. Children who have curves that are in excess of 50 degrees and are still growing or even at the end of growth, the reason we choose to do treatment is that we know that curves that are bigger than 50 degrees may continue to get bigger into adulthood. And if they get big enough, 60, 70, 80 degrees, they can start affecting certain uh, issues such as breathing and lungs and things like that. And so that's the reason that we recommend surgery once a curve hits about 50 degrees. When a patient requires surgery, in general, they've seen one of our doctors here several times. After that occurs, you try to find a date that works into your schedule. The reality is that there's never a good time for surgery. Uh, but a lot of children end up having it over the summer. Once you've chosen a date for surgery, you come in to the hospital for a preoperative clinic day. You see your surgeon, you get to ask them all the questions that you may want to ask. You meet one of, the, one of our nurse practitioners or physician assistants who goes over a lot of the details of what it means on the day of surgery. And you'll also meet with the anesthesia team. You'll get labs taken and x-rays, so all of the stuff that you need to be prepared for surgery. Ultimately, you'll see your surgeon one more time the morning that you come in to the hospital for surgery. We at Children's are one of the few centers that uh, actually cast infantile scoliosis, so kids that are less than three. That's still a procedure, it requires them to go to sleep, um, but it's not invasive because it doesn't require a skin incision. Kids who are young and still growing may end up having a number of spine procedures. Uh, and these would be called either growing rods or something called a vector. Those surgical procedures require a single big procedure to have it started and then they require surgeries every six months to lengthen the devices to allow the body's lungs to grow with the spine. The typical operation for an adolescent who needs a procedure is called a spinal fusion and a spinal fusion is uh, a procedure in which the goal is to get the spine to stop curving. It's a procedure that's done through the back where we insert hardware, which includes screws and rods that hold the spine in place and let it heal together into a single bone. The surgery will take the majority of the day. They get to sleep through it, so it will be very fast for them and it will feel very long for the parents. Most of the kids who are healthy end up going to our floor that specializes in orthopedics and they see a lot of kids with spinal fusions. They almost get ICU level care on a regular floor. After being in the hospital for a week or less, uh, they get to go home. Once they're at home, they're able to take care of themselves, usually with the help of a parent, um, because they're pretty worn down and tired. We generally tell people that they're gonna be out of school for a month to six weeks. This is largely for a number of reasons. One is that they may be on pain medicine for two to four weeks. Uh, they also are pretty worn out and tired, and because of that, it's difficult to make it through a full day of school. Once they go back to school, at six weeks, they're actually doing quite well. So they're not on any pain medicines, they're getting around fine. We keep them out of light sports, which is running, jogging, for about three months. At six months after having a spinal fusion, uh, most kids are back to full activity. We let them go back and do just about anything that they want to do. Because their spine is fused, they may be a little bit stiffer than they were uh, before. So kids who do certain activities such as gymnastics or football or high-level contact sports, may feel that they are different than they were before, but we let them go back and do anything that they want to do at six months without restrictions. They come back at that one month visit just to assess their wound, to make sure it looks okay and see how they're doing. We also get an x-ray at that visit to make sure that everything looks okay. 
After that one month visit, they generally come back at three months after surgery, six months after surgery, and then one year after surgery. Um, at each time point, we get an x-ray to assess uh, how things are. Uh, occasionally, they may fill out a questionnaire uh, that asks how they're doing so that we can keep track of it. Boston Children's Hospital has an advantage of being a referral center that takes care of only children. Our team that surrounds these kids is well-versed in scoliosis. Everyone understands, and having a big team that understands this is very advantageous and really sets us apart.